Honey, I don't want to rush you, but we are now officially uh, 10 minutes past departure time. Late is fired. Babe, not to sound annoyed, but I know, so shut up. Sick burn, Mom. Ish, her timetable, her rules, her making us late. I'm the jerk. How does that work? Fury hath no hell like a woman. Do you two really think you should be saying this to an impressionable teenage girl? In my day... You both know how to get your foot out of your mouth and prove you're more mature than a teenage girl, so get cracking. Sorry. My apologies, dear. You are correct. Grandpa Joe, has she always been like this? And I got another one on the way. I don't know if I could handle a double dose of this. <laughs> Son, it has always been this way. And I'm afraid your ticket has been punched for a while. Ain't that right, Spitfire? Damn right, <laughs> Hey, language. Sorry. Your mother has always marched to the beat of her own clock. I remember one time on Halloween, she went out dressed up like a functional Christmas tree. It lit up! <laughs> no, she didn't. I can imagine. I bet she got mad when people didn't put the uh, candy under the tree. Or did she have a little bag on one of her branches? She wanted it to go in there? Or she scowled so hard, her eyebrows looked like they'd jump off her face and knock her eyes out. <laughs> Gramps, you say the things that we're all... It's a long car ride, husband dearest. Your next words determine just how painful you want that to be. Or we could just not go. Don't Young lady. start! Yeesh. Now, Spitfire. Nothing unites parental units like a discourteous progeny. I will go get your jacket. Good idea. Train them well. <laughs> I like him. Good heart, pleasant smell, and he's not one of those ruskies. I do love him, but keeping the fear of God in him is essential for a long and happy life. Now, Dad. Oh, here it comes, Gramps. Are you sure you are okay with this? You just say the word, Ethel. He's not a baby. Unlike some people I know. Excuse me. I'll be fine. I've got books to read. Uh, a new season of that war story with the explosions and the naked ladies to watch. And I need to keep surveillance on those aliens next door. You cannot call the Hernandez's aliens, Gramps. They've lived in the neighborhood longer than us. Space. Aliens from space. He thinks the Condeckers are secret invaders from another world gathering intel. Not think. No. <laughs> okay. Now get going. All right. All right. Mwah. I love you. Now, God, where are my keys? anticipation it's 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 got me in a mood uh, to sing Don I know you'll duet with me no oh Sadie come on I know you like the tunage you feel me right sorry I'm not in the shower or drunk at the bar I'm basic like that oh uh, okay um look it's every time we, we do one of these I, I just get filled with the urge to uh, to express my emotions through song. Don't. Come on, Don, don't be like that. It's a calling, uh, if you will, a, a sign. And you don't ignore signs, it's bad luck. Besides, I feel like we're really close to our identity. For the last time, it's not Don. I'm not in the mafia. Anymore. It's Donald. We are burglars. We don't need identities. Hold up. He might be onto something. A solid calling card game would build infamy and notoriety. That means more respect in jobs. Ooh, ooh. How about mixtape masterminds? You know, we listen to a mixtape while we're clearing a place out, and then we leave it behind like a calling card. I mean, nobody's leaving calling cards anymore. We totally stand out. And every home would get a four-song momentum. Mixtape masterminds. I like it. I'll start our hashtag game immediately. Nice. What should our logo look like? Ooh. I'm thinking Pac-Man? I, mean, I don't know. I like Bruce, Bruce, shut up. He 
He's entitled to his opinions, even if they're wrong. Zip it, Sadie. Whoa, grumpy much. I mean, nobody voted for you to be leader. I did. Now both of you look. They're leaving. Where, where are you going? They left. So it's time for the mixtape masterminds. Copyright. To go remix their belongings. Bruce, shut the door. Why? It's daylight, dummy. Can't rob a house in broad daylight, or do you want to get caught? I picked this block because it's had the greatest probability of us not getting caught. Don't you get it? So sit back, relax. We're gonna be here for a couple of hours. Stick to the shadows. A couple of hours? What am I gonna do for a couple of hours? I prepared. I brought my power bank and my murders to listen to. Murders? Stories. Murder stories to listen to. That's totally what I said. How do you not know this? Oh, this bites. Well, at least we'll have time to work on our nickname, Mixtape Mastermind. No nickname. Oh, man. Huh. Don't recognize that car. Been there for a while, though. Maybe those G-men have finally caught up and they're keeping tabs on me. Well, you just wait till Mac returns the favor. Well, speak up before you create enough friction to turn that pumpkin pie into a pumpkin brulee. It's the first time that we've left Dad alone since he moved in. I just worry we made the wrong call. He's gonna be fine. Where's the man? He's got his books, bombs, and boobs to keep him occupied. <laughs> oh, those are his words. Gross. He did not say that. Maybe I'm paraphrasing oh. a little bit. You think you can Double <laughs> dry. You get a room. <laughs> oh, we will. Just as soon as we get you to your aunt's house. Oh, oh mama, don't leave Papa Bear hanging. Give me some sugar. Mm, you know, mama loves you, Papa. Triple vomit in my mouth, gross. <laughs> you guys have money for therapy sessions. <laughs> Herbs. Time is falling. Time has a rhythm. Ugh. Everyone out. What are you rapscallions up to? Stay quiet. Why are you inside? Say, do you got the gear? I'm working on it as we speak. So, you think you're gonna take me back, eh? Not happening, you pressed suit desk jockeys. Not while I draw a breath. It's time for war. It's lots of fun to show them how it's done to break into someone.
Thank you for joining us on Healthy Lifestyle, Tween and Teen Health. Today we'll be talking about teens and social media use. Dad, either put me social out of my misery or turn off this lame noise. Never! For two reasons, my dear. One, you need exposure to more than just the things you like. You need a little bit of culture. And protect your teen. And two, it irritates you. And that is one of the few perks of being a parent. It is in my contract. What contract? You always Enough! Will you just talk to your team about just stop. How to avoid letting okay. I cannot sit in this car and hold this pie and keep my composure while listening to the two of you. Not after we abandoned my poor defenseless father to go on some ski trip that none of us actually wanted to go on. You might aim to do so once a week or more and make sure you told you no one wants to go on. Sweetie. What? I'm just speaking the truth. And besides, Grandpa isn't defenseless. I need that sweet of you to say, but it's true. He's a conspiracy nut. I mean, last month he watched all of Doomsday Preppers, all 54 episodes. In a week. And then he watched Survivor Man. Then he did Man vs. Wild. Then he did Conspiracy Theories with Jesse Jesse Ventura. Ventura. And Dirty Jobs. What? It's Mike Rowe. He's the best. And then he moved on to all the fictional stuff. He watched all the Jack Ryan, Tom Clancy movies, and then he went through the X-Files, and then Fringe, and then he watched both MacGyvers. And how exactly do you two know so much about Grandpa's watching habits? Joined him on occasion. Being on a two-month social media ban has given me a lot of free time. Well, I am so glad that our parenting has left you such valuable time with your family. You when you have grandkids of your own, you'll appreciate this moment. Grandkids? Frankie and I are never going to last that long. Social media use. Talk to your Who's Frankie? Doctor. Thank you for joining us on Tween and Teen Health. Ollie, Ollie, oxen free. Oh, the laser security! It finally got me! Oh, oh, don't let my sacrifice be in vain! Donald, Donald, avenge me! Don't use my name, you idiot! Get up. They're just eye drops. They sting like hell, but they shouldn't last long. Question is, who'd be in the home? I don't know why the government wants me, but I'll tell you this, I won't go quietly, no matter how urgently the president says it is. Now, how did you Pinkertons get in here? I can field this one. You see, most homes subscribe to one of a few ISPs. Meaning, if you learn to decrypt only a few different pathways, you can hack three-fourths of the population's internet signals. I hacked your fancy door security. Let me stop you right there, girly girl. You can't brainwash me with those hoity-toity words. I know when somebody's trying to bamboozle me. Look here, old man. Do everyone a favor. Get back to your room and don't come out. You look here, you, you gold brickin' hooligan. This is my land and my home. And the only way you're going to take it from me is from my cold, dead fingers. Ah. Wow. He's like a geriatric Rambo. Cold, dead fingers, huh? That could be arranged. Let's go. Game over. I hope this ends up as good as my stories. I was taught to never hit a woman. Too bad I don't respect my elders. No, my pa always said take them on a walk. No, no. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh! And she sticks to landing. Get this thing off of me now. Oh. Oh. 
I was going to let you ride out in your room, old man. Yeah. But now, it's personal. You know, you're right after we were snuggling on the floor. I do feel closer to you. It wasn't... Shut up and get him! Come to you, Grandpa! And when we're finished with you, you're gonna need two canes. Eh? Yeah. Huh? I'm just hearing's going. I got this. He said you are going to need two canes! Two canes? <laughs> okay, if you insist. Is your hearing aid off? He clearly said to- Ow! Oh, oh man, ow! Prunes? Oh man, I hate prunes! I got more! Don't- oh. oh, oh! Oh, peaches! Those I love! Give up! Thank you! Give up, or you're ready for a round three. The day I give up to a phony like you is- Round three then? That's a big can do. Ah! Oh. Ah. Oh. Ow! Ah. Ow! Ah. Ow! Ah. 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 Life alert ain't gonna get here quick enough for you, old man. Ends of the line. Yeah, no way to go. So what's it gonna be, huh? Over the rail? Or out the window. Depends. Ah! Are you alright, sweetie? You've been awful quiet. Fine. Are you sure you aren't mad I didn't tell you about having a boyfriend? No, dear. You are 14. It's around when I had my first boyfriend, but it does warrant some discussing. Dad wasn't your first boyfriend. First? That probably won't be your last. In fact, I don't think there's any way we could prove that you're actually my kid. <laughs> What's wrong? I, uh, I, I feel like there's something missing. I, Like there is a giant, my father's shaped hole in this. <sighs> he was so excited about this event. Do not say a word. He was excited. You were all excited. Yeah, oh sure, oh sure, Aaron. You can bring the crispy onion straws for the casserole. And you can bring the extra jar of mayo because Uncle Chuck can't have anything dry without blanching and Aunt Blanche can't have anything dry without chucking and I got the, the holly and the backup holly and the holly scented candles and the... Oh my God, that is too much holly. Aaron, you have a problem! God damn it! I... But none of that matters. None of that matters because we just packed all of this shit into the car and we didn't leave any room for my father. Good dreamer. How could I be so stupid? How could we be so selfish? God damn it. God damn it. God, God damn it. I was going to be so lost. What if he forgets to take his medication? What if, what if he falls? Oh, Jesus! Oh. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, I'm so sorry. Please, I'm so sorry for taking your name in vain. Please don't strike me down. Oh my God. <laughs> That's way too much. That's too much. <laughs> Mom, he's happy. He's probably having the time of his life. Yes, but how do you know? Huh? How do you know? Wait, wait, wait. 
Is that a hint of mango? <laughs> what, you want to ask for seconds? Only if they've got banana flavor. Uh, disgusting. <sighs> Shut up and keep... No, what? sorry. I'm out. I draw the line of old people poop in my hair. <laughs> uh, I think that the pureed squash and the eye drops are creating a toxic combo because I'm starting to see double and <gasps> tiny monkeys. Hi. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. I want to play. Come back. This isn't over, old man. Unlike Normandy, this isn't the only way through this beach. You're right, it's not like Normandy. I fight more like the Viet Cong. He says that a diaper of poo a day keeps Brucey away. You both don't get it. I'm not leaving without finishing this house. I spent weeks picking out this block. I scoured aerial maps, looked at security installment plans, even did recon on family schedules. It's perfect. This job is supposed to set me up for years. This is my crown jewel, my Tutankhamun, my holy grail. I will not walk away, especially for one senior pain. Yeah, I won't be melted like a Nazi either. I can't let my dad find out I was beat by a stinky old fogey. Not if I want to go over the family business. So what's the plan for their counterattack? Yeah, what's the plan? Funny. I got a plan. Oh, a secondary pincer move, eh? Well, if it's war you want, it's war you'll get. Bring your worst, you robot alien scumballs, but you better be prepared because... Grandpa's home! I need a drink. <laughs> 